there is something that I have never been able to understand in the religion of Islam. I have um, seen, unfortunately, that most Muslims are not very gentle, not very forgiving or patient with others, with other Muslims who are trying. And it's true that at some point, I myself, when I was um, when I was not really into Islam and stuff, I was around 18, 19 years old. From 18 to 22 years old, I was just not, not wearing hijab ever. I was wearing whatever I wanted to wear, whether it was sleeveless dresses, tops, tank tops, jeans, shorts, swimsuits, whatever you want, I was wearing that. And I was not really, I was not into religion at all. I was, my philosophy at the time, I was not atheist or agnostic, but I was more into the humanistic side of things. I was just like, you know, I want to be flexible. I want to, I want to just absorb everything that is positive from each philosophy and just live my life on these principles. I just wanted to be free from all kinds of indoctrination or, you know, I was very happy as well, even if I was not fully subscribed to the religion. But then some events happened and then I felt like, you know, perhaps I need that structure that Islam was giving me. I needed that focus, I needed that discipline, that direction of just having very specific goals and and just being able to to focus my to, to focus my energy, my emotions on something, on someone, on God. Then it worked out it, it really felt very natural to me you know, refocusing on the Dean, even if I was born in it, but I just eventually somehow I let go of it. However, I started to I started to realize that there were there is a big mistake that Muslims make in general, not all of them. It's true that we keep studying the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we know that he was never cruel or harsh or condemning towards other people. He was very gentle, very accepting. He was very, like, you know, just instead of repelling people away, it, you attract people to the deen. You don't condemn them. But it's true that when I have been around Muslims, it's always been, you know, I've never been discouraged by a non-Muslim about hijab. In fact, I always remember that when I had started wearing hijab, my my non-Muslim co-workers, there was a Hindu lady who, who, they seemed to really be interested, curious and respect that. For some reason, they seemed to respect that, they seemed to really, um, you know, for them it's just, they don't uh, dramatize it that much, at least not to, to our faces. But why is it that for Muslims themselves, when, for example, a girl who is wearing hijab, let me take myself as an example, you have made a huge step, you're trying to improve yourself, you're trying to cover your body, your beauty, etc. It's just a part of the journey, it's a tiny part of your faith, wearing hijab, for example. But some people, instead of, of really encouraging you and telling you that, you know, you've done, a, you've done the right decision, you've started wearing hijab and very, you know, keep, keep it up. They will just come and pinpoint all sorts of faults, flaws. For example, I've received unwanted advice on my hijab, on my bun, how I should tie my bun. I know there are girls who are scrutinized and criticized for wearing too much of makeup with hijab, for wearing tight clothes with hijab, for wearing nail polish, for listening to music, for going out with boys while wearing hijab, etc. Now I can understand that these people are perhaps right in what they are saying and I agree that there are times when you have to accept that you are not doing the right thing and you can improve on that. However, I do believe that this is a very personal thing. It's, it's something that, is, that should come from you. Just like I never really, I was very angry back in my youth when people were telling me that, you know, this kind of clothes is not right, etc. I just felt very angry. Why would someone come to tell me? I should decide for myself. Eventually, when I started wearing hijab, I had decided for myself. It was not like someone had come out and, tell, and told me that, you know, you should wear hijab, etc. I hadn't been brainwashed. I've never been brainwashed in nothing that I do. I don't do anything out of force. I like to do things out of my own personal conviction. 
So I think it's very unfortunate. Muslims don't realize that they repel people away from the religion when they do that. Rather than make you feel more motivated and interested in the deen, on improving yourself, they make you feel like, you know, whatever you have done, it's like it's nothing. All these efforts that you have made to dress up more modestly, it's nothing. But you know, there were girls, we each need our time frame, our pace. Some people, for them, perhaps they have reached a level of piousness where they feel that they are perfect and they can dispense information to everyone. But unfortunately, I am not that level. I've never pretended to be perfect. I still struggle very, very much. I still commit sins. I still, I'm trying. That's the most important. I'm trying to become better. I'm trying to, I'm trying to focus on myself rather than focus on what everyone else is doing. Because, yeah, it's true that at one point I also, I had fallen into that trap of just bringing down all other women when I was just make I was actually posting comments on people's videos where I was expressing my disapproval of these things which they were doing. So in my opinion, I found it legitimate. It was not correct. I, I'm really ashamed I did that. It was none of my business, whatever, who is wearing what. But it's true that... Um, Sometimes the more pious you become, the more you feel like you have a license to criticize others. Now I try to think of my own sins. Perhaps that person is really looking up to me. Maybe it's in secret that person is, is admiring me for wearing hijab. He, she is being inspired by me. And now if I go and I tell them that, you know, why are you wearing nail polish, for example, they might totally lose interest, lose motivation, lose incentive to try to become a better Muslim. So let us keep all these things in mind and the next time you feel tempted to give someone free advice on how they should dress, how they should talk, etc. Just remember that you yourself, you have so many things to correct in yourself first. And anyways, if you want to tell someone something, there is a way, there is a tactful, respectful way for you to tell that person that thing without seeming like you're accusing them or making them feel worse about themselves.